Hi everyone, welcome to another one of my video reviews for blogtowatch.com. My name is James Stacy, and today we're taking a look at the Halios 1000 meter diver, commonly referred to as the Puck. So obviously we don't have to explain where the uh, nickname comes from. The case is a cylindrical, very much a minimalist sort of case, 47 millimeters wide, 11.5 millimeters at the edge, and 15.6 right in the center, including an ever so slight dome to the crystal. You had uh, 24 millimeter hidden lugs here, which I'll uh, show you the back in a moment. And uh, the bracelet tapers to 20 millimeters by the time it reaches the fold over clasp. Uh, the 1000 meter, or the puck, is uh, powered by an ETA 2824 automatic movement, so you do get a date right there at six. And your crown control is here at four. Um, and on the uh, 9 o'clock side of the case, you do get a helium escape valve. It's an automatic type. And uh, so if you are doing some saturation diving, um, you know, the puck should be able to keep up no problem. Thanks to its cylindrical case shape, the puck actually has a lovely bezel, which is mounted uh, directly into the curve of the case using a series of small screws along the side. You get a lovely grip that should work well with gloves, uh, wet or dry hands. It's 120 click access and it's a unidirectional for dive countdown purposes um, the scale is fully loomed and glows along with the hands and markers which I'll show you in a loom shot in a moment the case back of the 1000 meter should be uh, pretty familiar to anyone who's owned uh, XM or Zetsum and a uh, or any of the bronze quartz watches that have kind of been floating around for years uh, those nice kind of minimalist uh, German uh, quartz watches. So what you get is a uh, fully hidden kind of integrated 24 millimeter lugs. And as I mentioned, the bracelet tapers down to 20 millimeters by the time it hits the clasp. I really like this shape. I think it's very nice. Beyond that, uh, you get full screwed construction and a series of uh, micro adjustments. Two more here. And you get a uh, dive extension to cover you, uh, I believe it's a 20 millimeter extension to cover you on a wetsuit. I do find that this extension uh, does open too easily, which is the case with my Laguna bracelet as well. And all I did was tighten the little catch and uh, it doesn't become so much so bothersome. Otherwise a very nice three link bracelet doesn't pull hairs, very smooth, nicely finished. And I think it matches the, uh, the case nicely. Um, and this is available on any of the puck models that aren't DLC coded. The DLC models are uh, only available with the rubber strap. So what we'll do now is we'll take a look at a loom shot and uh, we'll give you an idea just how well the puck glows. Okay, so here's the uh, loom on the Halios 1000 meter, AKA the puck. Uh, what you'll see here is it's exceedingly bright. Uh, this lasts quite a long time. I had no trouble with uh, even the bezel markings lasting well into the evening. Certainly once your eyes adjust to the dark, it's going to last you through much of the night. This will definitely hold up with any of the dive watches, um, you know, that kind of make up watch nerd lore, the Seikos, um, you know, some of the ones that just uh, exhibit the really bright loom. I would say this is on par with something like an Armida A1 in many situations. I think the A1 may have a higher initial brightness, uh, but certainly this lasts uh, quite a long time and uh, does so beautifully. Uh, what we'll do now is just take a look at a wrist shot, and I'll give you an idea what it's like to wear such a large watch. Okay, so here's the Halios 1000 meter on wrist. Now, 47 millimeters, there's no real other way to state this. This is a big watch. Um, sized for my wrist, it comes in at 207 grams because of the stainless steel use, the large case, the big bracelet. Um, with all the links left in, you're pushing closer to 223, 225 grams as far as weight. Um, height isn't bad, it's not that much taller than my Laguna, but the overall um, wearing size is quite a bit bigger. It's noticeable and it's heavy. Um, you could cut down the weight a bit by putting it on, say, a leather strap or wearing it on the rubber. There's a blue rubber strap that's included uh, with, the, uh, with the puck, but I think this is the way that it's meant to be worn. I really like the effect. Visually, it's much bigger than it feels, but it still wears very big. If you compare uh, the 47 millimeter puck to say a 44 millimeter Laguna, both with the bracelet, the Laguna is a much 
um, lighter kind of easier wearing watch. Uh, if you like a big watch, this is perfect. And I think not only is this Halios's largest watch to date, it's also their most niche. Uh, now you can pick up a puck for $780 in stainless steel or the 1000 meter DLC model will run you $855 uh, before shipping and such. And at that price point, you're looking at a very unique uh, proposition from a great company. They make excellent watches. Uh, they really have a, a love for dive watches that, that I've experienced over uh, reviewing the last uh, three models. And I think this is simply their most diverish, toolish sort of model. And I think it's a, a great watch and a, a good deal at the 780 bucks. For a blog to watch, my name is James Stacy. If you like our videos, please let us know by clicking the like button. Uh, it lets us make more videos and uh, get in more watches for review. Thanks very much. Bye-bye.